This video will show you how to create uh, an ePortfolio using Wikispaces. Uh, and so I'm just on the EdTech Wiki and I've already logged in, so I can just click on my username up here. So the first thing you want to do is get logged into Wikispaces. Uh, when I click on my username, it shows me all the different spaces I have. I've actually already created one for my ePortfolio, a couple, um, but since you won't have one uh, yet, you'll want to click on Make a New Space. And if you'd use the naming convention of first initial, last name, and then ePort, uh, and then you want to make it protected and click Create. Uh, I'm not actually going to click Create because I've already got one, so I'm just going to jump over and use what I already have. And that's this S. Brunvan ePort. Uh, you can see I've changed the border here to this green color, but um, by default yours will be gray starting out. Uh, the first thing I want to do is edit the navigation. And on your ePortfolio, um, you should have some basic things. An introduction, which should be an introduction page. Uh, a page for the standards, where you reflect on the uh, technology standards. And a page, page for your assignments. In the past, students have decided to have separate pages for their assignments. So you could do that if you wanted to and list them all out. Or you can just have one page. It's really however you choose to do it. Uh, but these are the three that I'm going to go with. So I'm going to select, select Introduction, click on the link, and I want to create a new page called Introduction. So I'll say OK. And then Standards, click on the link, and I want to create a new page called Standards to link to. And then Assignments, and I'll click on the link. And it's going to create a new page called Assignments. I'll say OK, and I'll save it. So now I've got my three pages and I can go and, and, and edit each of them. So I'm going to click on Introduction. Here's my Introduction page. And so obviously uh, I can click on Edit the Page and I can type in a heading, subheading here, select it, switch it to Heading 1. If I want to put in a line break here, I can do that. And I can type up the Introduction to uh, describe my portfolio and give a background about myself. Uh, so I'll save that page. And go to standards, and uh, I've already got the standards in here, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to take them out and show you how I put them in. Um, I've got my little uh, subheading here because uh, this is a page I've actually worked with before. Um, but how do I get the standards in here? Well, I'm going to go back to C Tools, and if I click on the, uh, I'm in assignments, and if I look at the ePortfolio assignment, if I click on that, submit as a student. I'll see there's a document here called Nets Doc. So I'm going to click on that to open it up. And we'll launch that in Word. Give it a chance to open up. And this document has the technology standards in it. So instead of having to type them all up, uh, I can just select them all, copy. And then I can go back into my uh, Wikispace on my standards page and I can paste them in and here are all my standards. Now of course I need to reflect on them but at least they're all here and I don't have to type them out individually. So when I'm ready to reflect on standard one I can type my reflection here. And what I, I would appreciate you do is if you would set your reflection apart somehow preferably just by bolding it so I can tell your reflection apart from the actual standard itself. And that's how you can add to your standards page. And uh, at some point when you're ready, you could type up your reflection for standard two and for standard three and so on and so forth. So then I'll save that page. I'm going to go to my assignments page. And on my assignments page, you can see I've already put some things in here. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this to show you how I put that file in. Um, so let's say, I, for this page, you have to list all your assignments. So let's say I'm ready to put in my assignment 1. And I have to write a reflection for assignment 1. But right now, I just want to show you how I put the link into it. Um, I would put my cursor wherever I want the file to go. And I would click on the little picture of the tree, uh, which is a, allows me to insert images and files. I click on that. And I already have assignment 1 here. It's showing right here. I know it's this file. But if for some reason I didn't have it, I could browse for it, go find it on my computer, and uh, and then upload it, and then double-click it and put it in. But I know I've already got it, so I'm just going to double-click here, and it's inserted the file right over here. 
okay and my option uh, is to either insert the file or provide a link to the file and I'm just gonna use insert you can use either one but I'm gonna use inserts the file and I can close this and save and there it is so that when someone clicks on it they should be prompted uh, to either open up the file or download it and in this case it's gonna download it automatically for me um, I can add any uh, of the assignment types I can add an Excel document just the same way I did the Word document I could put in a JPEG image file I could put in an MP3 audio file from the podcast or I could put in the uh, media player from the podcast much like we added to your websites I could um, even bring in the movie file so let me show you how I bring in the movie file same way I've got my cursor here and I click on the little picture of the tree and I've already uploaded a couple movie files are these two right here but uh, if I didn't have them there once again just like with the word document I would browse and go find the dot WMV file uh, that I have my Windows Media file or maybe I have a dot MOV file I would get the actual movie file not the not the project file but the actual movie file so I know this is actually a sample uh, video that I have so I'm just gonna double click it inserts it right here and while I'm at it I'm gonna insert an Excel document and just so you can see what that would look like and I think I've got uh, an mp3 so I'm gonna insert an mp3 so now I've got each of those file types here so you can see what will happen I click Save and here is my video so that if people were this is a line segment. Yep. So now he's going to start uh, playing, and people could watch the video. There's the Excel document, and here is the uh, uh, MP3 file, my podcast that I uploaded. So I've got each of my file, each of my assi assignment types are presented here. Uh, what I would need to do, of course, is write the text and the reflection for each of the assignments. But this is this is how I can upload those uh, assignments. Uh, and then what you'd want to do when you're all done is turn in the URL to your introduction page submit that through C tools and uh, that's how you submit your assignment